Hey, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be dealing with factorizing quadratic trinomials of the form ax squared plus bx plus c coming up. So let's give ourselves a definition. A quadratic trinomial is an algebraic expression of the form ax squared plus bx plus c, where x is a variable and a, b, and c are constants. A is not equal to zero, okay, it's non-zero value. Previously, if we had an expression um, x plus three bracket x plus four, we expand this as follows to make a quadratic. So x times x, x squared. If we clean that up, we get x squared plus seven x plus 12. Now that is our quadratic trinomial. Now what we need to do is we need to consider the reverse process. So the reverse process is called factorizing. So I want you to notice that the coefficient of x, which is seven, is the sum of three and four. So look, three plus four is equal to the seven. Yeah, you can see that three plus four is equal to seven. The constant term, so the 12 here, the constant term is the product of three and four. So again, three times four gives us 12, and three plus four gives us seven. We need two numbers whose sum is seven, and two numbers whose product is 12. Those numbers are obviously three and four. This is commonly referred to as the product sum method. So let's look at an example then. We'll factorize x squared plus 11x plus 24. So we need two numbers with the sum of 11 and the product of 24. So we can list the pairs of numbers with the product of 24 and find their sums. So let's make a table of values. One times 24 gives us 24. Now we need to find the sum that gives us 11. So we need this one in the middle. The numbers that we want are three and eight. Hence, therefore, x squared plus 11x plus 24 is equal to x plus three, x plus eight. Let's look at another example. Let's factorize x squared minus seven x plus 12. I'm gonna use this template where I've got the product, which is a constant term 12, and then the sum, which is a coefficient of x. So notice then, the sum is negative, negative seven, but the product is positive. They will both have to be negative numbers. Why? Think about it. This number times this number must give me a positive, and some of them must be negative. So we have negative three and negative four. The product of these two factors gives us positive 12, and the sum of these two factors gives us negative seven. So therefore we can write x squared minus seven x plus 12 is equal to x minus three x plus four. Let's look at our last example. In this case we have a x squared minus two x minus 15 and then b x squared plus x minus six, but our constant term are both negative. Now we can summarize this by saying, since the product is negative, so since the constant terms are negative, the numbers must be of opposite sign. So I have a product of negative 15 and a sum of negative two. My two factors have to be opposite in sign. And in this case, we've got negative five plus three. The product of negative five and three gives us negative 15, and the sum of negative five and three gives us negative two. So therefore, x squared minus 2x minus 15 is equal to x minus 5, x plus 3. Let's look at part b. Since we have only one x, the coefficient of x is 1. In this case, I have negative 2 and positive 3. Therefore, x squared plus x minus 6 is equal to x minus 2, x plus 3. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next one.